everybody. Tonight we're going to talk about a, a couple of things. One is um, a little bit serious and the other one is a little bit silly. So that's a good combination. The first thing we're going to talk about is our eight planets. And um, I, I had to actually research quite a bit before I wrote the poem because I needed to find out about all of them. But before we do that, let me show you some pictures to give you some reference. First of all, uh, brag a little bit. This is uh, Charlie, drawn by Charlie. And you can see he's got a rocket here with Charlie and Mommy in the rocket. There's Daddy waving goodbye. He's got the countdown, five, four, three, two, one. So um, they are ready to go into space, blast off into space. And then this one, he just drew this one. And this is Charlie and Mommy in a rocket, Daddy in a rocket, and there I am in a rocket. And we're all getting ready to go into space. And you can see the fire and the smoke underneath the rockets. And once again, ready to blast off into space. So good job, Charlie. Okay, let me show you what the planets look like. Okay, we have nine here because we're including Pluto. And that's okay, we like Pluto. We usually just talk about eight anymore. And that kind of gives you an idea of what they might look like. And then this gives you an idea of the sizes. And you can see over here, we have tiny little Mercury. And you can see Earth is also pretty small by comparison. Look at how huge Jupiter is. Saturn is also a big planet. So when I'm reading about them, that kind of gives you a, an idea of how big and how small they are. And then this is just a picture of the solar system. Kind of see how everything fits in. So, okay, and I was lucky enough uh, to get um, a galaxy necklace. This is, there are lots of galaxies. This is one, and you can see the stars, everything kind of moving around. Okay, so let's read about the planets. And I, like I said, I researched to find information. You may know a lot more about planets than I do, and if that's the case, and if I make a mistake, for sure, let me know. This is called The Planets. If you could visit any planet, which one would it be? They all have their own features and interesting things to see. Mars is the famous red planet with seasons like we have here. It orbits our sun and has two moons with a very thin atmosphere. Mercury is the smallest planet and the closest to the sun. When you see a planet with a surface like Earth, then Mercury is the one. Venus has hurricane force winds and is the hottest planet of all. It's the closest planet to our own Earth, and like Earth, it's really quite small. Jupiter is the largest planet, with 75 moons all its own. It rotates once every 10 hours and is too gaseous to call it home. Neptune is called the ice giant and can't be seen with the naked eye. It can't support life as we know it, and no spacecraft currently fly by. Uranus has 27 moons and 13 rings that we know. Uniquely, it rotates on its side and its orbit of the sun is slow. Saturn has 82 moons and seven beautiful rings. Like Neptune, it can't support life. Its seasons are seven year things. And remember Earth is also a planet with a 24 hour day. Earth's balanced atmosphere is perfect to support life in every way. So if you want to read something fun, read about something fun, there are lots of books about planets. I'm sure there are probably other poetry about planets as well. And I didn't have a lot to show you. I had some paintings uh, with uh, planets and um, the starry night and, of course, the moon. So... Um, but I find them interesting. So that wasn't really my area. I was um, an English teacher, but I find the planets pretty fascinating. This last one is called Wish for Fun. When you wish upon a star, it makes no difference who you are. But if you wish, you'd best be sure you'd know just what you're wishing for. If you're a sandwich, wish for bread, but also ask for a yummy spread. If you're a fountain, I'd wish for water. If you have sons, wish for a daughter. If you're a locket, wish for a chain. If you're a flower, better wish for rain. Are you a frog? Wish for some bugs. If you're a floor, I'd wish for rugs. If you're some gas, wish for a burp. If you're a drink, wish for a slurp. 
A dog should wish for a brand new collar. If you're good news, wish for a holler. Are you a cloud? Wish for a storm. If you're a bee, wish for a swarm. It's fun to wish, so go right ahead. Make your wishes, just use your head. So we've talked about wishes in the past and making wishes is a fun thing to do. Just think about what you're wishing for and uh, the happier your wishes, probably the better. So I will see you soon, one, four, three, and bye-bye.